Hello and welcome to this new video in the Databricks playlist. In this video, we will see how to create temp views on top of data frames. Let's get started. I already have a code to read the orders.csv file that we have been using. So let me run this. Let's wait for the execution. So we have the output as seen below. So let us understand what are temp views. Temp views are nothing but objects that are created on top of data frame and the benefit or the advantage on uh, creating temp view is that you can fire the SQL queries as you have been using SQL in any other database. So let's see how to do this. Scroll down. We'll say df dot type in create control space. Now here you will see four things. Create global temp view, create or replace global temp view, create or replace temp view and create temp view. Let us start from the bottom, create temp view. Open the bracket and give this a name. You will say orders. And then we will run this or let us give this a name as temp vw underscore orders. So now this has created. Now how can you see this whether or not it has been created? So to do this, you can say spark dot catalog dot list tables. Run this. And you will get a data frame or data set. And we can just put this in a display command. And again execute. So here you see the name of uh, there is only one uh, currently table or view that we have created temp vw underscore orders and then the table type is temporary is temporary is true so this is a temp view now what is the benefit of this let me copy this name now we'll use a magic command to switch to sql by using percentage sql and you can just directly write your sql queries so in order to query that view you'll just say select star from temp orders in this way you get the output the difference in the output only is when you display a data frame, you also get the schema like this way. Whereas here you will not get the schema, but you can still see the data. And you could do any things that you want from here. For example, just to show you a few things where just what you use all those things in uh, SQL generally. So I'll filter for a country. I'll say where country is equal to Germany. So filter, order by, join, etc. What you can think of. So this gives us one more benefit of uh, knowing SQL. So mostly you will see as a practice data frame when you read the data in uh, the data frame. On top of that, we create uh, temp views so that it is easier to interact and bring out the output by using the SQL. Now going back, if let's say come down or let me copy this code, create temp view code. Let me come down and we'll paste this code. If I rerun this, now I'll get an error. Why? Because that temp view already exists. So the exception which you will get is temp table already exists exemption. And it will tell you temporary view, the name of the temporary view already exists. So you cannot create this. So for this, what you'll do is go to create. After create, you can click and just do control space and say create or replace temp view. Now by this you will understand what this method will do is if the temp view is not there it will create it but if it exists it will overwrite that or rather over overwrite it so now you see i'm not getting any error so the only difference between create temp view and create or replace temp view is the first one create temp view will just create a temp view if it doesn't exist if it exists it, you will get an error but mostly you will see we will use create or replace temp view in case if it exists it will just replace it so this is one thing now understand very important the temp view that you are creating although a different aspect is that you can use sql etc on it but we also have to understand the scope of the temp view so this temp view is not accessible in other notebook if i create another notebook let's say test temp views and here percentage sql i say select star from the temp view name 
let's remove all of this and run this now you see analysis exception table or view not found temp vw or underscore orders why is this so the reason is because of the scope the temp views that we create are restricted to that particular spark session now what happens is as far as databricks is concerned one notebook you can think of an individual spark session and another notebook when you run the code it will have its own individual spark session so across a spark session the temp view will not be accessible it will be only accessible within that spark session which means only within that notebook and how can i know if the spark session is different in both the notebooks very simple just say spark dot catalog dot let me check this i think there is a spark session session uuid sorry so spark dot session uuid so you see you're getting some number over here now let us copy this and go back to another one and you run this one so in two different netbooks you will see the spark session uuid is different which will confirm that both the sessions are different you see i'll copy this just to compare and go back to our original notebook from where we were creating the temp views paste this here you see try to compare both of them both the session uuids are different so this confirms that both the spark sessions are different so temp view can only be accessed within that session or within the notebook which we are creating it so what is the solution to this in case let's say you want to create or rather access the temp view across the notebooks there is a way to do so so you say df dot create the solution is create global temp view so let me just say glb underscore orders for example run this everything is same i mean in terms of querying etc if you want to see percent sql select star from glb orders now there is one slight thing that you'll have to do over here let me run this if i try to do this way it will say table or view not found why is because although we have created this in this notebook for global temp views you have to prefix the db name which is nothing but global underscore temp dot the view name glb underscore orders let's run this and you see we have the data so this is only applicable for global temp views remember again global underscore temp is the global temp database and which you don't have to create it it's already there so you just have to prefix this name global underscore temp dot then the view name this will be applicable only for global temp views and the same thing will apply if i rerun this code now i'll get an error stating the temp view already exist so what you will do is in order to replace you will just use the different method which is create or replace global temp view so if it exists it will replace if it doesn't it will create you will not get an exception over here now what is the benefit of this is if i copy this code and go to a different note uh, notebook and if you paste this and now try to call this this will be accessible so this is the biggest difference between creating temp view and creating a global temp view a global temp view will be accessible across the spark sessions which means you can use them across the notebook irrespective where they are created but a temp view a normal temp view not a global temp view or temp view will be only be accessible within that spark session or the notebook that you create so you have to choose according the scope that you want to use it if you want to use it across the sessions or notebooks go with global temp view and remember for global temp view you will have to prefix the database name which is global underscore temp which is already available you don't have to create it in this way global underscore temp dot the view name and there is also a way you can check whether a view exists or not although create or replace temp view or create or replace global temp view takes care of it but just in case you want to see you can say spark dot catalog dot 
table exists so here let's go at the top and let's check firstly we'll check the normal temp view which is the earlier temp view which we created let me scroll down and let's run this <clears throat> so here you see it is returning true if I just change the name here it will give me false similarly if I try the global temp view name remember table exists method will give you true or false it will be a boolean output if I try this here it is giving me false so let me prefix global underscore temp dot glb underscore orders so it will give me true if I just remove one character it should give me false so this is all the also a way that you can check and put in a if condition and do anything else that if you want customly so this is about creation of temp views and in case let's say you want to drop the temp view you can just do it this way spark dot catalog dot type in drop control space you'll get two things drop temp view or glob global temp view so let's say I want to drop the temp view first double quotes let's copy the name quickly which is temp pw underscore orders paste it and run this so this should drop the temp view you will get the output as true if I rerun this here it will say false why is because that temp view doesn't exist anymore so notice those small things and now if you try to query the temp view over here let's say this was the normal temp view here you will see you will get an error as table or view not found and in the similar way what we can do is we can drop the global temp view as well just replace the method we'll say drop global temp view and let me copy the global temp view name scroll down we'll just paste this let's run this now here you'll see you're getting a message as false so why is because here we don't need the global prefix of the database name which is global underscore temp just remove it the reason being we are explicitly explicitly specifying the method as drop global temp view so it will only check in the global temp database now if I run this command should return me true always keep an eye on the output and this is very important this will tell you whether or not that has been dropped if I run now again since it has been already dropped now obviously it will return false so this was about creation dropping and checking of temp views we'll use this in the future a lot that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned